Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Ciprin. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what are the different types of cybersecurity attacks. We all know that in recent times there has been cybersecurity attacks, and this is one of the reasons why cybersecurity exists, so that we'll be able to defend against all these kind of attacks. But before you plan or you start executing your form of defense, you first of all need to understand what are the different kind of cyber security attacks out there. That way you'll be able to appropriately and adequately defend against them. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the different kind of cyber security attacks. Now, what are the different kind of cyber security attacks? Now, cyber security attacks is any types of offensive action that targets computers, information systems, infrastructures, computer networks, or personal computer devices using various methods to steal, alter, or destroy data or information uh, systems. Cyber security attacks comes in all shapes and sizes from deploying an application specific attack against a database, sys server, or sending phishing emails with malicious attachment or URL. So this is this means that the cyber security comes in different shapes, in different sizes, in terms of attack on database, in terms of sending SMS message, in terms of imputing or sending malicious email or attachment. They come in different shapes and sizes, and that is why we need to be able to understand the different kind of cyber security attack so let's look at them now we have the network security attacks we have the wireless security attacks there is the malware attacks and then there is the social engineering attacks so let's look at the different kind of cyber security attacks under each of these categories that i just mentioned network security attack so what are network security attacks what are the attacks on that network security attack? What are the examples? Network security attacks are any attempt to exploit a vulnerability or weakness on a network or in systems, including servers, firewalls, computers, routers, switches, printers, and much more. Now, what are the diff what are different types of network security attacks? They include one denial of service attack what do we mean by denial of service attack these are the kind of attacks that tends to overwhelm the system resources so that the system cannot respond to service requests it means that there is an overwhelm of requests to the extent that it brings down the server it brings down the system the system can no longer or the system is no longer online Take, for example, when there is a flood of requests going to Amazon Web Services and there is no enough bandwidth for Amazon to handle those you know, requests, it will bring down Amazon Web Services and it makes it online or makes it unavailable. That is an example of denial of service attack. And this denial of service attack could also mean that it, it create another purpose whereby they can launch another form of attack. Another example of network security attack is buffer overflow. What is buffer overflow? A buffer is a memory storage region that temporarily holds a data while it is being transferred from one location to another. A buffer overflow or buffer overrun occurs when the volume of data exceed the storage capacity of that memory buffer that means the 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 storage is you no know, less than what they what it can accommodate the the data going into that particular memory slide is more than the ability that the memory or the buffer can you know can contain that is a buffer overflow it's an example of network security attack Client-side attack is another example of network security attack. 
A client side attack occurs when a user downloads malicious content from an attacker, such as Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, uh, Media Player, PDF. That is an example. That is what a client side attack means. That is, you when you use your browser to download malicious, you know, for example, you are you are attempting to download Google uh, Google browser. And then you are not careful to know which website you're going to download the Google browser. You just saw on that URL, Google browser, download, and then you download it, not knowing that it's a malicious website. When you download the Google browser, you, there is an attachment to it. That is, you are, you are you kind of downloading you know, another uh, malicious content, such as Microsoft Word might be attached to that. Um, media player might be attached to that, spreadsheet might be attached to that, or you are trying to even download spreadsheet, uh, Microsoft Word or media player, not knowing that it is from a malicious website. That is client-side attack. And then we have spoofing attack, which is another example of a network security attack. What is spoofing attack? Spoofing attack is when a malicious party impersonate another device or user on a network in order to launch an attack against network hosts, steal data, spread malware, or bypass access control. That is known as spoofing attack. You know, it's a malicious, you know, kind of attack on a network whereby a malicious person is impersonating a real person or a real device on that network in order to launch an attack, in order to steal devices, in order to steal or spread malware. So that is spoofing attack. So these are a few of the uh, examples of network security attack that you know we have, which I'm discussing with you. So let's look you know, at another form of cyber security attack. Wireless attack. Wireless attack, what does it mean? A wireless attack involves identifying and examining the connection between all devices connected to a business Wi-Fi. These devices include laptops, tablets, smartphones, and other Internet of Things devices. Examples or types of wireless attack. One, data emanation. What is data emanation? Data emanation is an attack whereby data is compromised by receiving the analog output, that is, for example, the light or sound emanated from a computer hardware. An emanation-based attack is a type of eavesdropping attack. That is an example of wireless attack, data emanation, receiving the analog you know, output of that communication. So it's an example of eavesdropping attack. Bluetooth vulnerability. What does it mean? It's an attack through which hackers can access a device or eavesdrop on phone calls, connect to the internet, send and receive text messages and emails, and even make calls while the owner is unaware of it. It's also known as blue bugging attack. So that is a Bluetooth vulnerability attack. Another example of wireless attack is WPA, WPS attack. What does they mean? What, what was the mean of that? A WPA means a Wi-Fi protected access. And what does it mean? It means that, you know, it's, it's a cracking attack, captures the traffic and then performs an online brute force attack to discover the encryption key. Why the Wi-Fi protected setup, which is WPS, also use a brute force attack but do not need to wait for an authorized client to connect that's the difference between both wpa we need an authorized wi-fi uh, user to connect to that wi-fi before a brute force attack is initiated while a wps does not need a, uh, a legitimate or authorized user to connect to that wi-fi before trying to guess or get the encryption key and then launch an attack. So that is WPA, WPS wireless attack. So these are few examples of wireless cybersecurity attacks. Now let's look at malware or ransomware attack. Malware or ransomware attack. So what do they mean? Malware 
or ransomware attack. It means that a malware is a malicious software. It's any piece of software that was written with the intent of doing harm to data, devices, or to people. They are unwanted software that is installed on your system without your consent. That is malware. They are unwanted software, you know, code, written, installed on your system without your consent. Let's look at examples of malware or ransomware attacks. Well, we have the ransomware. What does that mean? It's very popular these days. This is a form of a malware attack that blocks access to victims' data and threatens to publish or delete the data unless a, a ransom is paid. Example of this is what the Baltimore City you know, experienced you know, a few months back, last year in 2020, 2020 or 2019, whereby their systems, their servers were encrypted you know, with ransomware and then they were asked to pay Bitcoin for ransom before their data could be, you know, could be un unencrypted and, um, you know, or released to them. So that is an example of ransomware attack. They block your access to your data. They block your access to your server until, you know, you pay a ransom and they will threaten you, you know, to either publish your data or delete your data if you don't pay that ransom. That is what, you know, ransomware attack, what it means. Viruses. What is viruses? A computer virus is a type of malicious code or program written to alter the way a computer operates and is, and is designed to spread from one computer to another. That is what a, a virus is. It's a kind of it's a malicious code written to alter how your computer works and it is designed to spread from one computer to another. A virus operates by inserting or attaching itself to a legitimate program or document that supports macros in order to execute its code. So that is what you know a virus is. Worm is another example of malware or ransomware attack. So what does that mean? They are self-contained programs that propagate across networks and computers. Worms are commonly spread through email attachments. So opening the email activates the worms program. So they remain dormant, but when you open that email, it activates them. A worm spreads across the internet and overloading email servers can result in denial of service attack on the network. Meaning that when these worms spreads over the network or email servers, Opening those worms can lead to denial of service of that email server. And then we have Trojan horses. This is also an example of malware or ransomware attack. What does Trojan horses mean? These are programs that hide in a useful program and usually as a malicious functions. In addition to launching an attack on a system, Trojan can establish a backdoor that can be exploited by attackers so that is a trojan horse attack you know for, for example some of the movies that we have watched whereby they will think that oh this horse you know is a legitimate horse they allow it in but not knowing that you know uh not knowing that their their attackers or their enemies are hidden inside the horse so allowing the horse into their environment and then closing their border now at night this horse the enemies hidden in this horse will you know descend and start attacking you know these people so it leads to a backdoor attack is you know it hides in a useful program and it's usually you know has a malicious intent or function so this is what malware or ransomware attack means and these are the examples these are some of the examples of malware or ransomware attack social engineering social engineering so what is social engineering attack social engineering is an attempt to manipulate a user to giving up sensitive information such as users accounts credentials wiring uh, funds or personal cost, uh, customer information 
social engineering attack is when someone calls you or someone sends you a message tricking you deceiving you you know in an effort to get access to your personal information such as your login credentials your social security number your your bank account details such as that so that is what social engineering attack you know means what are the examples of social engineering attacks that are out there some examples let's look at them one phishing attack what is phishing attack phishing refers to an attack that is usually sent in the form of a link embedded in an email the email is disguised and looks like an email from a reliable source but in reality it is a link to a malicious site so that is phishing attack where you receive a link in an email asking you to click for example they've sent me numerous emails saying oh my paypal account has been deactivated they 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 discover a malicious intent on my paypal transaction no to reactivate my paypal account click on that link so that is a phishing an example of a phishing attack phishing or vishing or vishing whatever it is being called is another example of social engineering attack. So what does it mean? Vishin attempts to trick victims into giving up sensitive information over the phone. In most cases, the attacker strategically manipulates human emotions such as fear, sympathy, and greed in order to accomplish their goal. Sometimes, I'm no, I know most of us must have had it where you hear someone calling you with a deep accent, maybe Indian accent or another kind of, uh, you know, uh, African accent now telling you that, oh, your social security number has been compromised, that they are calling from FBI uh, for you to avoid your social security number or for you to avoid maybe arrest or avoid whatever, call this number now or press one. Or, you know something like that that is you know phishing attack example of phishing attack you know the attack that comes over the phone the attacks that kind of manipulate you you know your emotions in terms of fear in terms of sympathy greed to be able to take your personal information and then launch an attack on you smishing is another kind of social engineering attack smishing what does smishing means Smishing is a cyber attack that uses SMS text messages to mislead its victim into providing sensitive information to a cyber criminal. When you receive some text messages asking you to text back, asking you to press one, asking you, you know, to download this code, asking you, you know, to, to download this link, thereby misleading you to, you know, sensitive or to misleading you to cyber security, you know, website. So that is smishing attack. And then lastly, under social engineering attack is pretexting. Pretexting, what does it mean? An attacker can impersonate an external IT service operator to ask internal staffs for information that is needed, you know, that could be used to accessing system within the, you know, the organization. You know, pretexting, an external service provider. For example, maybe someone pretends to be calling you from Comcast. Or someone pretending to be calling you from uh, what's it called, maybe uh, uh, one of your vendors, you know, pretending that they are calling from one of your vendors and then asking you for information, login information that could be used to access internal resources in that organization. That is pretexting attack. So these are a few of the social engineering attacks that are out there. And these are examples of cyber security attacks. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to uh, share this video, turn on your notification button. And if you have additional information regarding this form of attack, please drop it in the comment section and I will definitely you know, chat with you or respond to your comment. Thank you very much.